This thing wants to take off. Right, welcome back guys to another video and what we've got for you today is as you can see behind me it is another JDM it is a Subaru Impreza STI and like I said it's a Japanese import so these come with a 2 litre turbocharged engine as opposed to a 2.5 that sometimes do have a few problems but yeah I mean and um, we have got a video of that one of them on the channel and we've also got quite a few rare Impreza's and cars in general reviewed on the channel so please do feel free to check them out but yeah today we've got this JDM STI hatchback uh, it's got a few mods on it it is modified quite nicely and it is running over 400 brake horsepower uh, and sounds quite good as well to be fair so what we'll do is we'll go for a little walk around the car then we'll go for a drive and then we'll conclude the video so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys check out the rest of the content of our on our youtube channel subscribe to our youtube channel click on the like button check us out on instagram performance underscore lifestyles and we're on facebook as well performance lifestyles and if you'd like your car featured drop us an email pf lifestyle at hotmail.com and we will be more than happy to accommodate. Uh, but for today, JDM STI Scooby and an awesome one as well, to be fair, with some nice mods. Check it out. So there it is then, the Impreza STI hatchback, two litre JDM STI as standard, but this one's been strokered and I'll show you under the bonnet uh, in a couple of minutes. So, but yeah, I mean, just look at the stance on this car. This thing is absolutely mega. It's such a beautiful looking car. It attracts a lot of attention. I've only driven it briefly and yeah you do get some looks in this car and it's got like i mentioned it's it's, it's got the right touches it's got these volk racing te37 sl wheels uh 18s they're a very very rare wheel and a very expensive wheel of that as well they i believe they are you know to get even in this condition with a few curb marks new tires they're still two grand two grand plus and obviously the biggest thing you could tell with this car is it's got a front mount intercooler uh the obvious thing should i say so that is that has been fitted recently and uh, with that intercooler it made a bit more power so it's been rolling roaded at 420 brake horsepower and now you know uh, coupled with the rest of the modifications a 2.1 stroker i think it was needed apparently the owner said it was actually needed just to get it to run better and uh, it does run quite nicely to be fair and obviously the standard sort of stuff again fog lights you got xenon lights there sti uh, badge on the grill uh, obviously the scoop there which is kind of like redundant now and because the intercooler is at the f uh, front here but I mean just look at the arches these arches flare out nicely they they actually do make the car look a lot wider um, which previous Scoobies weren't really known for so the wide track even had extensions on these don't these come with these actual wider arches uh, but yeah I mean it's, it's a beautiful car and with it being a JDM it also has these orange things here they are heaters. They basically on cold winter mornings, your wipers won't be stuck to the windscreen, which again, it's a godsend in uh, when you actually need to use them. When you don't need them, it's just, yeah, it's just another gimmick thing. But when you do need to use them, it's actually a very good feature to have. So onto the back, I mean, these, these cars actually, when they first come out, obviously a lot of people didn't really, weren't really fond of them because they changed the actual shape of the car from a saloon to a hatchback. But these do really have these wider arches on them as standard and uh, these wheels do make them stand out like a sore thumb uh, and as you can see the front ones are quite a bit wider as well with the a vent here i don't think it's a full-on dummy but i believe most of them things are fake but yeah they do actually look good and them te37 sls are such a mega wheel such a desirable wheel and with desirability comes a big expense as well and i know they're worth a small fortune so this car has had all the right touches done to it and it is such a mega mega car uh, but yeah just 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 i mean look at that that thing is such a beautiful car if it was sitting a bit lower the wheels would catch the arches but on the aesthetic side of things on the stand side of things this thing would look so so good this was thing, this thing would actually look mega i've seen photos of this car when it was sitting a lot lower and honestly it, it looks stunning with these wheels on uh, but yeah but as it is now, it's actually usable. There's no rubbing of the arches or nothing. It does come with the um, quad exhaust system, quad tailpipe, should I say. But these tail, this, this exhaust system comes with a bit of a difference because if you can see there, this is actually a very, very rare uh, ProDrive exhaust, which sounds quite nice. It's not overly loud. 
and just the way the whole exhaust pipe is designed it's like twisted and turned and goes into one box and another and stuff and it looks so mega uh, and it sounds good as well but yeah i mean just look at that that scooby is so good these led style led lights they're standard you can get like a film to so they look a bit redder than they are now but yeah that's that's just the way they come out of the factory it's got a rear cam apparently i've not really used it but uh, and just in, I mean, just in general, just look at the stance on this car. It is so good. And again, it comes with a standard two pot Brembo. I believe they are made by Brembo, but uh, brake calipers on the back. Um, and again, just, I mean, look at these wheels. They are absolutely awesome. A few curb marks on them, but again, that's not much of a problem. It's got Michelin Pilot 4s and it's just the whole, the whole look of this car is so good. And I believe these mirrors actually are smaller than the UK cars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the UK ones are ever so slightly taller, but these, yeah, they, they're a bit smaller and they actually do look quite quite good as well. So, and then obviously you get the factory spoiler as well, which, yeah, looks all right. You can get a bigger WRC style spoiler on the back, which some do have and they do look quite nice, but I believe this thing is in perfect sort of uh, look looks. So onto the inside. Standard stuff like STI sill plates. Um, this one doesn't have the bucket seats. It's got the half leather, half Alcantara, uh, half leather Alcantara seats with the STI stitched onto the headrest, center armrest. And again, the biggest feature here inside the car is, which I probably can't tell at the minute because is this flat bottom steering wheel. So obviously that's the bottom. That's why STI is one around. But yeah, flat bottom steering wheel leather STI gear gator here it's got cup holders here which this thing's broken quite a common thing uh, and it's got a defi gauge there as well which they're quite an expensive gauge and it's it yeah it's just a boost gauge and that's the controller for it right at the bottom there uh, but yeah these cars I'll see if I can switch it on yeah you get the clock sweep with it being a JDM car and you got 9,000 rpm 8,000 red line Again, you've got 260 kilometers an hour on the uh, Speedo. Because it is a Japanese import, it is still running in kilometers per hour. And with it being a hatchback, it does come with traction control, folding mirrors, push button start, keyless entry. So it's got all the ModCon sort of gimmicks, but bearing in mind, it is a 2008 car. So it's quite a big thing to be actually having these sort of features back in the days. Now I know a lot of people are used to, uh, you easily get used to these features because they come quite standard on a lot of cars. But with these, they'd never, and this was quite a big, feature back in the days jdm's um had it i think i believe a standard whereas the uk ones it was an optional extra or part of the pro drive pack or something or another anyway uh but yeah i mean it's got all the usual stuff you know like the heater controls here uk spec doubled in and it gives you how many kilometers you do per liter of fuel and degrees and time temperature sorry and time um yeah and then you've got obviously the sti this lights up in the dark you got the buttons here for the sti uh, for the diff so that's uh, here, you can put in auto or manual, put the power to the, more power to the back, uh, or you leave it in auto, which is what 90% of people do anyway. And then you've got it in sports sharp, sports, which I'll show you just there, you'll see it flick just there, sports sharp, sports. And then if you push it in, it goes to intelligent mode. So it tells you when to change gear as well. And that seems quite odd in a Subaru Impreza that's running over 400 horsepower, it tells you to be economical. Um, or it shows you, you can be economical, but yeah, then they're not. You're still only gonna get 20, miles to the gallon at a push if you drive it like a if you drive it like I do uh, so yeah and it's got all the usual you know standard stuff silver trim here black dashboard these weren't renowned for their luxuries inside the car or nothing but they were a five seater family car which you could carry a push jail you're shopping in the boot and still hammer most cars because it's a four-wheel drive car with a lot of power under the engine a standard even so you know 270 odd horsepower a standard but this one's obviously got another 140 odd 50 odd horsepower on top of that so it's, it goes quite nice what we'll do we'll go we'll show you under the uh, bonnet and then we'll go for a quick little blast and conclude the video because it is getting a bit dark now the joys of uh, coming up to the winter months yeah so we'll catch we'll show you under the bonnet and then we'll go for a break so there is the actual heart of this thing the EJ20 but has been bored out to a 2.1 um, SC42 turbocharger back down there and you can see it's a it's a turbo back exhaust system normally the intercooler would sit over here but obviously this one has got a front mount on it which 
is there, there. And then you've got this obviously Perrin uh, slam panel cooling thing, Perrin intake hoses. I, I think it's a Perrin, yeah, Perrin filter, forge blow off valve and custom, I believe made pipe work, which is needed for the front mount intercooler. And it's also got coil overs on it, uh, oil catch can over there. You've got the expansion tank over here, overflow. And generally it's this, apart from the intercooler and the intake, it looks like a standard engine bay, which still is quite a, it looks a bit messy compared to a conventional sort of block, but yeah, this is, this is exactly how Scoobies are. And this is what they were known for as well. This is, with it being a JDM, it doesn't come with a Scooby burble because it's got equal length manifolds and not unequal, which creates the Subaru burble that everybody knows about. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still a wicked car. Sounds very raspy in standard form, but this one obviously with the mods, it doesn't sound raspy. It's just, it's got a nice tone to it, nice tone, uh, which you'll hear. So we'll go for a quick little blast and we'll conclude the video. So yeah, as per usual guys, subscribe to our channel, check us out on social medias. And if you like your car feature, drop us an email, email, can't even speak, email pflifestyle at hotmail.com and we will be more than happy to get your car featured on the channel. Uh, but yeah, we'll catch you on the drive. So on to the drive of this uh, Impreza STI. I mean, I, I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't like to daily this car purely because the fact it is quite, the coilovers do seem quite firm and it's just the whole setup, the aftermarket clutch, uh, the whole engine build and stuff, it, it does take a bit of maintenance, but the power and the, the way it puts the power down and the way it drives is so good. It is so good and you obviously haven't got the rasp of the, the burble of the Scooby because of the equal length manifolds. Um, but no, it drives very, very nice. It's, it, Practically, if you drive it sensible, it's like a normal Subaru Impreza on coilovers, which, let's be honest, they do drive quite nice. And they're a very practical, usable car. But the moment you want to put your foot down, I mean, it's in sports at the moment. If I switch over to Sports Shop and you'll see what I mean, this thing, this thing will shift. It is, it puts the power down so, so good leave everything in auto and put it in sports shop and perfect, bang, it starts going. Oh, stone just flicked up and hit the windscreen, great. Uh, but yeah, you, you could probably see on the video, it's actually quite bumpy, but that is the firmness of the coilovers. And to be fair, they are adjustable dampness and height. So it's not something that will put you off buying one as such, but it can be adjusted to suit your needs, shall we say. Uh, whereas in standard form they are quite bumpy and bouncy anyway because the suspension has to be firm in order to handle better. So soft suspension means you're just not going to have the handling, it's going to be like a boat. But no, this thing is uh, its actually quite nice, it's very nice to be fair. So when you're pottering around normal, they, you can't even tell. It just drives, like I said, it drives completely standard. I'm having to drive around with the interior lights on by the way, uh, just so you... I don't just seem like a dark blur in the... That the moment you put your foot down, you can hear the intake sucking in the air and the forge blow off valve releasing it. And it does sound good. These cars, I don't think look right and sound right when they're quiet. Scoobies have got a reputation for being a bit of an Asbo car and they need to be loud. Otherwise there's, yeah, I just don't think it suits their character, their nature. I understand it's not to everybody's taste to get a loud car but I think this one is, on the noise side of things, it is perfect. It's not overly loud and it's not quiet, which is what you need. Drive around normal and it's very quiet, very tamed. But the moment you put your foot down, you can hear it whooshing and, you know, releasing the uh, air, sucking in the air and releasing the pressure. And uh, it's got a lot going on inside the cabin, which keeps the driver and the passengers entertained. And perfect weekend sort of car. Ideal weekend car, I'd say, as a matter of fact. And with it having the 2.1 stroker, it is you've got the reliability and you've got the potential to push the power even more. I mean, this one's just needs an upgraded turbo, I believe, and another map uh, or a map tweak. And you could be running at 500 horsepower from a, you know, in, in essence, a tin can of a Japanese car. There's a lot of cars nowadays. I know they're still 500 horsepower or even less than that. It will be just as quick because of the gearboxes, automatic gearboxes. But you just don't get the pleasure, the joy of driving one on as as much joy should I say as a manual car. So here, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, 
this thing wants to take off. It's a lot of power. And then you got traffic lights, so I have to slow down. But it's a lot of power. And oh, it's got squeaky brakes as well. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot of power in this thing. And the moment the turbo spools up, it's like, it's like, it's spooling, spooling. And then as soon as it spools up, it's like, whoa. We'll like try off the mark here. Oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. What a car. Honestly, what a car. This thing is fantastic. It pulls you back in your seat and just gives you that, that kick, which, yeah, let's be honest, you don't get from a lot of cars nowadays. They're too refined or they just haven't got the power. But they drive nice, but this thing drives nice and it's got plenty of poke. <laughs> oh, epic. Oh, this is mega. This is absolutely awesome. It's fast. It's very fast to 30 miles an hour. <laughs> what a machine. This is what I love about these Scoobies and these old uh, Jap cars. They really do give you a bit of a thrill when you're driving them. And when you get one that's been modified right and set up right, this is the end result. But this one, I believe, has had near enough 20,000 pounds thrown at it. It's had a lot of money thrown at it, which, let's be honest, a lot of them don't. Hence why you do get a few little issues and little problems. But no, this one has had everything thrown at it and it's... And there's still potential for more. This, I'd say this is the ideal package when it comes to a hatchback Scooby. You've got a JDM car, you've got a 2.1 stroker and over 400 horsepower with the right touches. I mean, there's not a lot more you could ask for. Like I said, this has had a shed load of, a hell of a lot of money thrown at it. So not only does it look good, it sounds good and it sure as hell does go quite well. So this is, like I said, the ideal sort of Scooby hatchback from this sort of era. I know the newer ones, we have actually got a video of the Subaru STI, the new shape STI on the channel. First time I ever drove one was that car. And you know, uh, it was such a mega car. Honestly, it's so, so good. It's very much refined and stuff. It had an exhaust and a remap, but it, it still drove very, very nice. So yeah, don't even, don't write one of them off. They are still a good car, but this, that turbo spools up it's like it's game over it it kicks it it pulls you back in your seat and gives you that whack it is such an amazing car such a mega car such a mega car yeah so i don't think we're going to be getting very far now uh, but yeah what i'd like to say is you know thank you very much for watching the video guys i am going to conclude the video now i hope you've enjoyed the video and this is a mega car on a serious note this is an actual it is a very much of a mega car and there you go but yeah like i said i hope you've enjoyed the video guys subscribe to our youtube channel performance lifestyles check us out on instagram performance underscore lifestyles and we're on facebook as well performance lifestyles uh, do click on that like button it does help spread our content the algorithm works like that and uh, yeah if you like your call featured drop us an email email is in the description and we will be more than happy to get it featured but for today this is it Stay safe, people, and we will catch you on the next video.